Hello everybody, my name is Jacob. Thank you for checking out Xanity, the channel run by a man who has not yet taken his Christmas tree down. And today we're going to be trying our first of many hot sauces. We've done some spicy foods and we'll continue to do some spicy foods, but now it's time to break into some sauces. So, I have this all nice and set up. We have here our tray, our sauce, dino nuggies because that's the only way, and tortilla chips. Cantina style, because that's also the only way. And you're going to be trying the sauce based on its own merits by itself, how it is with a dino nuggy, and how it is on a chip. <clears throat> and that's how we're going to be doing these sauce videos. So, I should preface this by saying that, in my personal opinion, the best hot sauce on the market is a hot sauce called Crystal Hot Sauce. Uh, link to their website down in the description. Believe it or not, I don't have a bottle of it with me today, but I do have the closest acceptable substitute, Louisiana hot sauce, which they just copied Crystal Hot Sauce, um, but somehow it's not as good, um, but it's close enough that when I don't have Crystal Hot Sauce, I break out. Um, <clears throat> Louisiana brand to satisfy that craving. Crystal Hot Sauce, I would say, has a more, like, sort of a more buttery flavor than Louisiana brand, but Louisiana is an acceptable substitute. Um, everybody should go and try and find and try Crystal Hot Sauce if you can't find it in any stores. I found it in, like, Dollar Trees and Dollar Generals. Walmart used to carry it, but no longer, it seems. Um, but Dollar Tree and Dollar General definitely usually has it. Um, but if not, you can order it online. And that's why there's a link in the description so that everybody can go and try it. But if you can't find it, this is easy enough to find. And this is close enough, but not as good. So keep that in mind. Anyways, so Crystal Hot Sauce is my benchmark. Is what all of that was to go, go meant to say. Crystal Hot Sauce is my benchmark. It is the best hot sauce, period. I know a lot of people swear by Frank's Red Hot, and a lot of people are wrong. So that's just the way that that is. Now, the hot sauce we're going to be trying today, moving on to the main event, is this right here. It is Orange Pineapple Habanero Hot Sauce. It says that it is mild heat, so we'll see about that. It's from Fresh Finds, um, made in Costa Rica. I was trying to see if it was like, uh, yep, distributed by Big Lot Stores Incorporated. That's what I was looking for. So, orange pineapple habanero sauce distributed by Big Lot Stores. I got this for Christmas. So, uh, da, 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 da. five calories a serving. I, like, I always like to look at the calorie counts on hot sauces because it's always really interesting. Normally, it's like zero calories um, per serving. So, but this one is five. What do we got in it? Pineapple, orange juice, okay. Water, then habanero chili peppers, followed by sugar. So, I think this is going to be great. Orange pineapple habanero. So, let's give her a shot. That's quite a bit. Huh. Couldn't think that through. I'll just get a spoon next time. got some chunky bits. I don't know if that's the pepper um, or the pineapple, but it does have like a, some actual like, it's gonna be gross. Oh, I believe that's a seed. It looks like a seed. So it might be both. Pepper seeds, perhaps. That's good. That's really good. Now, for somebody that likes hot sauces and hot things, I can see where you would classify that as mild. But for a normal person, if you classify this as mild, they might get it and think that they're going to be okay. And I don't know that the average person that's not used to spicy things would consider that mild. Which worries me. And if you give me a moment, I will show you why. Because I have two other sauces 
from Fresh Finds distributed by Big Lots. One, a ghost pepper hot sauce, and two, a scorpion hot sauce, um, billed as hot and blazing, respectively. So I feel like whoever did this might be a little bit more of a psychopath than I am, and I don't think they got that right. <laughs> so those two, I'm sure, are going to be very interesting. But anyways, now we got to see how this hot sauce tastes on the chip, because I think hot sauce and tortilla chips go together as well as salsa and tortilla chips, especially with a, like, a thicker one like this. So let's see what we got. How does the chip enhance this sauce? Mmm. Enhances it really well. Actually tames the heat a little bit. That's great. That's great. This is a really good sauce. I like this a lot. The orange is there, the pineapple's there, it's all there. That's really good. That is really, really good. And it's great on a chip. Yeah, that's great. So far, sauce on its own. Sauce on its own, four out of five. Sauce with the chip, five out of five, honestly. Now it's time for the ultimate test. How does this dino nuggy enhance the sauce, or rather, how will this sauce enhance a dino nuggy? So I have Tyson brand dino nuggies. Because those are the only, those are the only dinosaur nuggets I can find. But ethical issues with Tyson aside, if I would have bought great value, that's just Tyson brand. Um, there's a lot of flavor to that nugget, and it kind of overrides the sauce. So I'm gonna try and get a big old glob of sauce and see what that does. It is good, but the flavor of this particular nugget, these this brand of Dino Nuggets, really overrides that sauce. But what it mostly overrides is the heat. There's almost entirely no heat from that sauce when you eat it with a nugget. So if you just eat a spoonful of the sauce, there's your heat. Now there's a little residual heat after you, you know, chewed, swallowed, and let it sit. But it's obviously worse on its own. The chip strikes a good balance. The nugget almost completely deletes the heat from it initially. And then there's just like the little, I don't know, aftertaste, I guess, for lack of a better term, that reminds you that you just ate hot sauce. So that is really interesting. But the pineapple orange flavor is still there. That's still very present on the nugget. So it's really, really good with the nuggies. But I was looking for the heat, so I'm going to give that a three and a half out of five. So altogether, I think Fresh Finds Orange Pineapple Habanero Hot Sauce is going to get, what did I say? Four, five, three and a half? Um, well, Looks like we're starting this series strong. I'm going to give this a four and a half out of five. Yeah. Well, that was really pleasant. That was a fantastic start to this hot sauce series. So, <clears throat> fresh rinds, orange pineapple habanero hot sauce, you can get it at Big Lots. Four and a half out of five. It is a really, really good hot sauce. Very flavorful. It goes great with a tortilla chip, but I might just be a weirdo that likes eating tortilla chips with hot sauce. So, 
Um, literally, the spicier my salsa, the better. There is a brand of salsa, it's Mrs. Renfro's. There is a mango habanero hot sauce, and it is fantastic. Mango habanero salsa, sorry, and it is fantastic. Um, but I lost my train of thought. God, I love doing that. So yeah, yeah, great sauce. Tastes great on its own, good on a chip, great with a dinosaur nugget. So that is this ramshackle first episode of hot sauces. Yeah, I got a lot, oh, excuse me, a lot more hot sauces to try. There's like a, I don't know, I got a lot. I have two of those, um, I think I showed in the little nitro video where you've got one of the like hot sauce games where you spin the thing. Uh, I have two of those now, actually, the one that I showed you and another one. Then I've got these two hot sauces, and then I think like five or six more that aren't part of like a game. So uh, a lot of hot sauces in the future to come, but it might be a uh, few and far between. And the reason for that is I don't want to like have a bunch of open hot sauces in my fridge because most of them are refrigerated after opening, but these as they are are shelf stable. So I can keep them on a shelf and I don't want to have a bunch of open hot sauces in my fridge that I need to like go through so I can get to the next one. So I might do one to two hot sauces a month just to give me time to actually properly use the hot sauces so it doesn't go to waste because I do not like wasting things and to not overflow the channel with hot sauces. Um, so yeah, but do expect more hot sauces uh, in the future. Like I said, these uh, these ones might be the next ones. So I am not. I don't think I'm looking forward to these. Oh my! Oh my God! Are you kidding me? The first ingredients in each of these is the pepper. Is the is the pepper in question? The fourth ingredient in this is the pepper. So, if you guys don't know, when you read ingredient labels, the order of the ingredients is from what is what it has the most of to what it has the least of. Um, if anybody didn't know that, that's why I brought that up in a couple of other videos. So, the, so like this is mostly pineapple and then orange juice, right? It's mostly pineapple, orange juice, and water because those are the first three. Then it's habanero chili peppers. So, the further down you go, the less of that ingredient is in here. So, like, it has sugar, but it's got one gram of sugar per serving. So, it doesn't have that much sugar, just as an example. However, in this one, the very first ingredient is scorpion chili pepper, followed by water, followed by cane vinegar. Oh, God, onion, carrot, carrot, that's interesting. Maybe that gives it its color. Uh, onion, salt, this is just all stuff that is tangy, sour, and hurts you. So this, <laughs> this is going to be an interesting one. Um, yeah, this is pretty much the exact same situation. So look forward to those in the future. Anyways, this has gone on longer than I intended it to and definitely gone on long enough. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please click like to let me know that you did. Subscribe today if you aren't already. But if you are already subscribed, make sure that you ring the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. And I will see each and every one of you in whatever video comes next. Goodbye.